Hello everyone and welcome back to Crowley House Flower Farm. This week we have a couple things going on. We have uh, netting going on the mums and then we also have a class that we're uh, teaching a dried floral class. It's kind of like a semi-dried I guess. And then Riley has is working on a corporate event that we have. I think it's 68 table arrangements and two stage arrangements. So it's a big one and it's very fall looking, so it's really pretty. But uh, anyways, we're going to start off here in the greenhouse. I'm going to show you how we trellis our mums. So today we are netting all of the mums and we're a little bit late, but um, we usually net them twice. So one layer is a little bit shorter and then once they get really tall, we do it again. And we also kind of um, trellis the sides so they stay really straight and they get really tall. But we had to make a new one. Basically, we take a piece of wood and we zip tie this netting to it and run it all the way down this row. It's super easy and we make the same size for all of our rows and then if uh, one is like a little bit shorter, we roll it up and zip tie it to the these um, poles that we put in and yeah, that's what we're doing today. the Horvinota, Horvinota, Horvinota. <laughs> We're using the Horvinota netting that we get from Johnny Seed Company. Um, this comes in a very long roll. You're able to cut it down to size and we generally have all the same sizes with the wood dowel that um, I think he cuts them at around four feet. My husband usually makes them and then we put about three zip ties on and we'll show you how we do that now and then anchoring them to these short T-posts that Emma heartily pounded in, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. This is what the netting looks like. It's reusable if you like are careful with it. We used to use this for our sweet peas as well. Comes in a different size for like an upright trellising, but we use the cattle panels now just because it's more eco-friendly. Um, you could do pa cattle panels like we're doing now as well. We just haven't been able to afford them yet. So goals in life. That's a really good clip. That would be a lot of work. I know. People do it. I know. Could you imagine I like out in the field? Like, no. <laughs> Okay, so we'll straighten this out later, but we'll get it. I need to go. We just need to give ourselves enough um, yeah. room to like wind it. Like oh this. dang it, we were gonna go all the way down and then roll it. Okay. Oh. It'll be short. Okay. So this is the size of our board. I think it's about four feet long, right? See, one, yeah. two, yeah, it looks like around four feet. Toss the other ones. So we finally got all of our mums planted. Okay, so 
you can tell on, I don't know if we can see this, on the end, there's like a little bit like, sh I don't know, it's like a it's bigger shorter. section and a, sh a smaller section. So we're looking for that and we set our board in and we're just going to kind of wind it up a little bit. Go through that thing if you can, like otherwise we have to like kind of do it a couple times because otherwise it doesn't stay. We usually do three zip ties, one on uh, each end and then one in the middle. So then once I get to the middle, I kind of wrap it around. Gotta wrap it around. And then usually I'll kind of grab one of these. Someone here? I hear a deep voice talking to Shyla. Is it Brayden? Maybe. Like a man's voice. Is Jason here? No. So once we're at this point, I just lower it to where I would like it. Um, and then I'll probably go through and take a fiber post, which is these guys. And then I just stick them in to the sides so that it makes the whole net even. I'll probably do like three down this row. Um, and maybe start with the middle so I can reach it and then I'll make it even on the outsides. Now that we've got that all netted, we are going to pick up this big mess. Um, we just pulled out the lisianthus. That was the end of that season. So um, 
We just have a bunch of piles to clean up and get it all back into shape. So today I got a last minute order for an elopement bouquet. So I'm around, just going around the farm. It's just white and blush, so it's super easy to do. Going around the farm to see what I can find um, that will work for this little bouquet. I think they're getting married at like the courthouse. So it's just really simple. We have one boutonniere, one bouquet. She kind of wants it cascading. So I'm gonna take you along and show you kind of how I'm gonna do that. Just kind of foraging what we have on the farm. So, so far I've got just um, some white roses and some white snapdragons. I'll go see what more we can find. Looks like we might actually, ah, got cut. It looks like we might have some either distant drums or Coco Locos that might work. I'm gonna see here. Actually think they're gonna be too mobby so we won't use those I'm gonna go see if we got some David Austin's I think we have a couple that will work in the palette that they are wanting and this also is supposed to be a little bit of a woodland design so I'll see if I can find some fern I've got some honeysuckle for the trailing I'm thinking to see if we have any uh, zinnias that might work or just some beautiful 
lace flower, not sure. This is kind of fun when they just kind of give you free reign but tell you kind of the colors that they want to use. Ooh, it's gonna be warm today. Okay, let's see what I can find. So I found some Cafe Olay's and Sweet Natalie. Cafe Olay's and Sweet Natalie to use in the bouquet. I think I'm gonna just cut some Senna Geranium and see what else I can find here. It's kind of slim pickings today, but I think I can do it. I think I can, especially with what we have in the cooler already cut. So I got some beautiful honeysuckle that I'm gonna tuck in. I'm gonna have to take off some of these orangey, peachy colored blooms, but the white ones I might leave, we'll see. They smell amazing. I'm going to be collecting seeds today and we really wanted to do this for Christmas and it's really hard to remember this time of year that uh, we need to be doing that now because when you think of Christmas, it's like, oh, that's so far away but there's only a certain window that we have for collecting seeds. So, me and Shyla and the cat. Come here, kitty. The cat, we're gonna go around and collect seeds. I think what I'm gonna do is like a wildflower mix, maybe some chamomile and feverfew, some love in a mist. I think I'll maybe do some scabiosa what else? Oh, bachelor buttons. I think I'm just going to look for a very wildflowery mix. And what we want to do is grab like boxes or something, maybe off of Amazon, and um, fill them with homemade jam that we've made and seeds. We'll probably do some baked goods, like something chocolatey or I don't know. We've been figured out everything. Um, but we want to just make it like this really amazing package from summer for all of our friends. We made a list. I think there's like 20 people that we want to make boxes for. Um, me and Riley are going to Australia, so we're on a budget this Christmas, and we thought that this would be a really good way to, um, get really amazing gifts, but on a budget as well. So... That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go collect seeds. Are you gonna be helping? So this one is Love in a Mist. It's really beautiful. I don't have any examples at the moment, but they have either white and purple flowers or this light blue color flower. But they end up with these little pods and inside of them are these black seeds and you just like a salt and pepper shaker tip them over and shake and then kind of crush the sides to get all of them out so i'm going to be collecting some of that
going to collect some feverfew, and this is what it looks like. Um, and we have a whole bunch of it that's dead, ready to collect all the seeds. That'll make a nice addition. It's very easy to grow, so everyone will have great success growing it. And this little fuzzy boy is constantly needing attention. This one's very easy to collect seeds from. Literally, it's just falling off. There we go. We have two different types of fever few. So the first one looks a lot more like a button. And this one is very similar looking to chamomile. It is not chamomile, but they do look very similar. So I'm going to collect these ones as well. I don't remember what the other variety is called. We just called them both Fever View. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have two different looks. And this is what the seed heads look like when they're ready. Basically looks like that. Once you start rubbing it, all the seeds kind of come loose. They're very small seeds. grab some calendula. It's very pretty. It's a pop of bright orange or yellow and it has a lot of health benefits. It's also an easy wildflower to grow. And this is what the seed pods look like. They kind of curl and you just kind of pull them and turn into these curly, almost look like horns or something. That's what they look like. Of course, we need to get bachelor buttons. They are beautiful. We have shades of blue and light blue and pink. And this is what their seed heads look like. So, you have the seed head and you kind of push it up. And lots of little seeds start coming out. do Cosmos next. These have all kind of cross-pollinated with each other. So basically that means that they will come up with some interesting looks next year, which might be kind of fun for people. Um, usually you don't want cross-pollination, but I think for Cosmos it's kind of a fun experiment. So I'm going to collect seeds from Cosmos next these darker ones that you're looking for um, might be a little bit hard right now to find that many but I'm gonna look anyways So these are the ones that you're looking for. Um, they look like a little poof ball kind of, and they have the seeds inside of them. There's one. I usually just grab the whole thing off and stick it in my hand and kind of take away the ones that I don't want. If you lightly blow on it, the seeds are heavier. 
so that all the other stuff goes away. And there you go. I'm also gonna throw in some yarrow. It's always really pretty. You have this white one, um, and that is the seed head. I'll also throw in some scabiosa. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty, very um, whimsical looking, kind of like a butterfly, long stems, and it's always blowing in the wind. Um, and this is the seed head. And they're really easy to collect. You just start moving it and they start piling out. Another way that you can collect seeds is by hanging them upside down to dry and putting a bag over them. As you can see, a bunch of seeds fell out and now we easily have a lot to share with others. This one is a really cool flower. It's called Columbine and it has like layered, it almost looks like a tutu or a bell. Um, and we really wanted more of this. So we made sure to collect um, this year so we can plant a lot more. But I'm going to give our friends just a little bit of it. Um, to add to the mix because we love this flower um, and want to share it. Okay, so I am making a cascading bridal bouquet that I am delivering for the elopement. I went and gathered a lot of um, just kind of in the blush family, the white family, and um, then I'm using some of this honeysuckle for the cascade. It's really nice because it already has kind of this curvature to it, and then having this group together and kind of arranging that, you can kind of tuck it at the end of the bouquet to kind of cascade over. So it's kind of a handheld slash cascading uh, bouquet just without any like the there's like these little plastic things that you can get and the oasis in them and they're just ugh, they're not i don't like them um but that's how they were traditionally made in the cascading form but i'm going to kind of show you or take you along and show you how i'm making this one so i think it's going to turn out pretty um again it's just blush and white so it's just got that classic wedding design
So I think it's gone pretty good. I decided that I wanted to have a little bit more of this honeysuckle to kind of cascade down. I didn't feel like it had enough volume, I guess. So I'm adding three more pieces and I'll see how it looks. Do you think right here? Yeah. It smells good. Okay. I think I like how full that is and just kind of cascading down. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Tape it up. So we like to try and get our floral tape pre-cut um, for us just on the side of the um, table and then we just kind of wrap it around just like that and hold everything together in place. So there's, if you looked through here, there's lots and lots of tape holding that together. So I'm working on a corporate event today and we have a bunch of arrangements to do. And we were doing it in this very like fun transitional fall colors of peaches, burgundies, and yeah, there's a lot of fun things in there. I'm taking it over to the event center now because I'm actually going to do half of the arrangements there. There's about 60 something arrangements so we're getting done. Yeah, we have 68, yeah, 68 table arrangements. And then two large arrangements and then a bar arrangement. And then yes. maybe more. Oh no, it's more than that. That's just the one facility is 68 and then we have 25 more. Okay, so I have, it's like 80 something, <laughs> 90 really. So plus you have the two stage arrangements. I'm just hoping we have enough. <laughs> so hopefully, yeah. wish us luck. Kelly, really. So pretty. Do you think you're coming with us? You think so? Have you just been waiting? All lit it up. Literally it took the whole van pretty much, so that's fun. Shy. Say hello. She's sad because she can't go bye bye. Huh? Well, thanks again for hanging out with us here at Crowley House. We love having you here. And if you loved this video, give us a big thumbs up. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think of the cascading bouquet. Tell us what you think of the cascading bouquet. And... <laughs> okay, ready? I think it's going to go one more time. Yep. Thanks again for joining us here at Crowley House Flower Farm. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. And until next time, much success in all you do and grow. And we'll be seeing you shortly in the garden very soon.